I was in college, I was taking a class and I came across Miss Robinson's name and that's when I was first introduced to her and it's a Culloden, Georgia and I was thinking to myself, well it has to be another Culloden because living seven miles from here, I would have heard of her. But she got a teaching uh, professor uh, at Alabama State College in Montgomery in the English department. So she gets on a bus and just kind of plops down tired and stuff and then later on realizes the bus is not moving and that the bus driver is yelling at her to to move to, uh, to the segregated section. And then so she's just frightened with terror and just stays there and the bus driver comes up and yells at her and she just stumbles off the bus, embarrassed and ashamed. And kind of from that point forward she made the integration of the bus as kind of a personal priority of hers. And then in 1950 she became a the president of the Women's Political Council. And then when Rosa Parks got arrested, that night they were going to have a meeting of the basically the local black community leaders to decide do we support a one day bus boycott and she went on campus and ran off about 50,000 leaflets on campus with two of her students so she you know, organized the distribution of it she came up with the leaflet and she basically kicked the whole thing off and you know that was the, the Montgomery bus boycott was the first massively successful um, resistance in the South. She did all this amazing work, but yet she's kind of forgotten that Rosa Parks and Dr. King get remembered from the movement, but not the lady who kickstarted the whole thing. And so I was like, that's, I said, that, that needs a change. And so I was trying to think, and you know, the historical marker would bring a lot of awareness to her and her efforts, and also just honor her and the family for all the great things they did in the movement. We're really excited that you know, on the 16th that it's going to happen.